everyone. <clears throat> it's me, Sailor Pluto here, or Tissa, Sailor Pluto Tissa here. And today we're going to talk about well, this thing that I always think does come up. Well, sorry for that burp in the beginning of the film, but it is what it is. So, we made a film talking about why we don't skim or or clean or cut anything out of our films. Why? Well, like we said, like we said a lot, the tools are like way too hard to work. You know? And some of them don't work it, and some of them, well, they don't do the they don't work very well at all. Let's we'll just be earnest about that. Because all of them are like weak in some way. <clears throat> now there are folks out there who are skilled at these tools. And they have worked the, t <clears throat> worked the tools for years. And they know what does what. You know. And good for them. If they got all the time to play, got all the time to do that. And first off, we don't have all the time to do that. We just like to make our film, get it up there on YouTube, that's the end of it. You know? And anytime you're working with any of these tools, you're always asking, you're always asking for way too much. You're asking to besmirch your film. Because that's what these tools will do. Well, that's what they did to me. I can't speak for anyone else. But that's what they did to me. Anytime you want... Some, either, anytime you want... <clears throat> you want to cut something out of this film. That always seems to be the big hang up. Which go to the small soft windows filmmaker, which at the time was known to be the beloved of all film skimming, cleaning, cutting, whatever you want to call it, tools. Um, <clears throat> all seen to really be good at is making a film brighter, making it darker, putting a beginning, middle, and end sheet to your film, you know, putting some outstanding drawings, whatever. But that's about it. When I when I wanted to cut something out, it only worked good once. When I seek to do this thing again, it fucked up the film. The next time I next time I did it, it gave me two halves of the film, and no way to work with any of it. I couldn't bring back. I couldn't bring any of the film back together. I couldn't. It was gone. Fucked up. Like it, it's almost like the tool was like, well, you cut it in half. It's like you can't bring it back together. You can't undo this mistake or whatever. So like whatever happened the first time didn't happen a two, four time. So I just said, fuck it. And don't even get me started with the ArcSoft ones that came with the HP web shooter that I had many, many years ago. The ArcSoft ones, all they seem to be good at is making something darker, making something lighter, putting some sheets, beginning, middle, and end sheet to your film. And I'm saying like a name sheet <clears throat> and, and, and that and that kind of sheet, not what the YouTube one does. Um, when you ask to cut something out of either the ArcSoft webcam web shooter friend or the ArcSoft film for layer you're asking way too much because they wouldn't even do it it was like it was broke and speaking of broken tools that don't do shit that led me to the interweb link um, the interweb link strength filmmaker which the one I got when I had my Acer Reckoner many years ago was broken. All I could do was film. 
Yeah. And don't get me started with the YouTube one because it doesn't really do good work either. It mostly will besmirch your film too. The only thing I ever make it do is end sheets. That's the only thing it's really truly good at. And I don't care about Mackie Cam or Sony Vegas or Last Cut. And I don't care about the Apple iFilm and, and all that other ones out there. Because they're all either too hard to work or don't work or don't work at all or are broken. And don't get me started with VLC. The only thing it's good at is playing films. So that's why I don't cut nothing out of my films. Because it will just besmirch my film and I don't want to make don't want to make a film so it can be besmirched when some mistake happens on made by the tool because I don't know how to work the tool and a tool just loves to fuck up your shit and I don't want I just like to make my film put it out there and also this is true life or as close to true life as you're gonna get on YouTube and in true life, when something goes wrong, you can't undo it. You can't cut it. You can't skim it. You can't clean it. You cannot, you know, shift it away. You can't do any of that shit. You know, oh, yeah, God can, but he chooses not to. So, yeah, you can't do that stuff. So that's why I don't do that at all in my films. Because it shows that it shows it's lifelike. <clears throat> you know <clears throat> and I know some folks out there oh they'll scave you and shame you and guilt you for it yeah we know what haters say and what haters do I don't really care you know and some folks out there think they gotta look they gotta be flawless and be all skilled and everything when they make their YouTube films but I don't really care that's their own business great for them but at the end of the day, I don't clean or skim or cut anything out of my films because that makes my films the way they are. It's true life. Things happen. All you can do is either say sorry or learn from the mistake and hope you don't do it again. Mishaps happen. It is what it is. That's what makes my films the way they are. If that's unwatchable by some, oh well. That's all the time I got here. I'm Sailor Pluto Tissa. And if you like this film, follow us over here at Sailor Moon for Life. Or watch the last one we made yesterday over here. I'm Sailor Pluto Tissa. And I'll see you later. Bye.